time allowing. And also, uh, we are grateful that uh, a pending issue relating to loans has now finally been unlocked. And we're grateful that, yes, we've prepared checks. And uh, we're also grateful that we've partnered with some uh, financial institutions that are going to provide literature, uh, financial literature uh, to our people that are going to get loans so that, indeed, they put these monies to good use. So we're grateful for taking time out so that you come and grace this important occasion. Honorable Minister. Well, so thank you so much. We, we are here to, like you have said, to appear here this call from your office. I'm sure you are aware that uh, I, we, I called for two meetings uh, where we came to discuss uh, issues to do with the CDA. I think the first meeting was called almost eight, seven months ago. The last one, I think, was about three months ago. Now, instead of calling meetings and then uh, discuss issues of city projects and so on, in a room, I've decided to go on the ground and physically see what um, has been done in each constituency. And we're starting with Kitu and then we'll go to other districts. I think next week we'll be going to either Mufrira or Chingola. So this is why we are here. We want to check exactly what's happening with the CPF. How many people, for example, have benefited in terms of uh, skills training? How many youths have been sent? How many have gotten the, the grants? And the loan issue you mentioned. And then how many projects um, have been completed? At which speed, speed are, we, are we running? in terms of uh, projects. So I think we are going on the ground. I think we'll be able to see, are we running at a uh, good speed? Are we within the lane of the vision carrier who is present in the Ichilema? So this is why we are here in Kitwe. So we just came to pay Kitwe's for um, your office. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, I'm, I believe in, in calling a spade a spade. I saw an article of uh, a mayor which was, has gone viral on the social media mm -hmm. where you, you, there's an allegation that uh, you, you asked the president to resign after his press briefing yesterday. I think that article is in the domain and it's gone viral everywhere. Yeah, so I was wondering that uh, if that is true, I want to tell you that I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I've seen that, that, uh, that if it's true, I hope it's not true. But if it's true, I'm disappointed because this government and the Excellency President Rahinde want to impress everybody in terms of running the affairs of, of the country. Uh, it doesn't matter where, whether a councillor is coming from PF or Socialist Party or is coming from any other political party. There can only be one government at a, at a given time. And there's only one president at a, at a given time. And I think any person who is fair, they should appreciate the input of what President Againdi has done the last one year, seven months. If we take the records of uh, previous governments, I don't know which government did what President Againdi has done for the past seven months. I don't know who we can compare to. So if that came from you, I think it's not a good thing. I think I went in, in the first place, I said I'll work with everybody as Minister of Copperville Province, which the President himself has said also want to work with, with everyone. He doesn't mind wherever, even if he comes to Kitwe. I think he take, he's been taking all of us luck. We are all his children, including yourself. So if that really came from you to ask the president to resign, that is not uh, correct. I'm disappointed. Okay. I'm disappointed if that really came from you. I expected you to encourage the president to do more of what he's doing, because I think he's shown that he can walk his talk. He's done several promises which he promised the people of Zambia. And I think we can name several promises which has fulfilled including here in Kitwe. So in short, I'm saying we should not bring to politics in what we are trying to achieve. You are part of this government, whether you want or what. Or you are a mayor coming from 
uh, PF, you are part of this government. That's how it is. And you are one president, and that's your president. So if it came from you to say, let him step down, that is not correct. Let it end here. Let it end here. It's better you talk, if you talk, if you said it, say it, maybe somewhere, not to, to go on the social media, like let it. And I saw another one some time back, I think like four or five months ago. I would rather you play with us than playing with the president. You want to say something bad, talk about Matam. Don't touch the president. That is my advice. Yeah. Thank you, Honorable Minister. And I'm grateful that uh, this is the first time you've paid a courtesy visit on my office. And I'm almost clocking two years. I'm grateful and understand that you have a busy schedule, sir. Uh, the article you referred to is a social media article. Uh, it's not even an article, it's a statement. And it's on uh, the PF blogs. That PF is called the Chimwemwe PF. I didn't mention the president. I was talking about, I hope he resigns when after the press conference or something like that. I was not talking to the president. And I think uh, if anyone is able to read the article, it will safely say that I did not mention the president. If anyone else misinterpreted it to mean for the president, that's unfortunate. So to level that ac accusation against me is uh, unfortunate. And coming from a high office like yours, I think, and um, before cameras, I think uh, maybe an investigation could have been done earlier before this uh, event. You've also referred to an article or maybe some time back, except I can't talk about it since you haven't mentioned it. I'm not privy to that. But having mentioned that uh, this is your first time paying a courtesy visit on my office, how, we, how I wish you had had time off your busy schedules, then perhaps you could have uh, also had uh, uh, known me also so that you can actually know that how much I mean well to work. I'm working with the government. I'm promoting their activities. I'm working, doing everything possible. And I've not at any point much linked the, the president. I didn't mean to the president. Whoever misinterpreted it to mean the president is unfortunate. I didn't mention the president. We have one, we have one God who searches our hearts. Yes. Yeah. The Lord himself in heaven knows what you meant. Yes, but to say, from, say the president... From, I didn't even address that. That wasn't even an official platform. I didn't say that statement as mayor. I appreciate, I mean, this office, I mean, local government office. And also, um, I subscribe to a party. I'm affiliated to the Patriotic Front. I'm also a member of the Central Committee in Patriotic Front. So there's time to politics and there's time to work. That was not an official platform where I was not wearing a chain or as mayor. And the more so, I did not attribute it to the president. I didn't say president. I thought I should just put that on record. We'll leave it to God. Thank you. That's what I can say. We'll leave it to God. But I want to advise you, don't play around with the president. If that I still insist. Don't play around with the president. If you want to play around, you play with us. I don't think if you uh, want to start politics, politicking with ministers like me, don't attack the president and you are a mayor. Don't attack the president in that man, in that fashion. I won't means, allow that. I don't think I have. I wanted to, to say it in camera, so I've said it. I think it's done. She's refused. She never meant the president, and I'll take it that way. We'll leave it to, to God. And moving, moving forward, let's, let's, let's work together. That's what is important. Let's work together. Let's do the project together. You are part of government. Thank you. You, you cannot uh, operate in an, an isolation. You have to work with us whether you want or you don't want. I have to work with you whether I want or I don't want. The president has to work with you. And that's what he has shown, that he can work with everyone. So let's work together. That's the way we're going forward. Yes. Yeah. So I'm grateful that uh, you found time to visit. Uh, we Kitwe needs you. This is your district. Uh, and we've got so many challenges that we need your office to come through for us. We cannot exist in isolation. We, Kitwe needs development. And it is only you that we can run to as a district. Uh, just like you have found time today, I hope uh, you continue finding more time so that uh, together uh, we can unlock uh, development for the district of Kitwe. Uh, I thought I should also just mention that I'm looking forward to a cordial working relationship between Kitwe district and the province. Because yes, we may have ch challenges that we may not communicate through camera. Sometimes they are just in-house that we need you to, to know. So I'm grateful that you've opened your doors that you could work with this office. 
Thank you so much, Minister, for coming. I'm at your, your disposal. Thank Anything you. I'm sure you know, I'm, I'm running an open policy, uh, law policy. Anytime, you're free to come. If there are issues, you're free to come. We'll talk about it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm grateful.